solve the problem. All right, so we're gonna use this space. It's the same thing. Let's go back. Circle, he used three quarters, four dimes, three nickels, and five pennies. I'm gonna go and look which one is the most. It's my quarters, he has three. One, two, three quarters, 25 cents, 25 cents, 25 cents. What's next? The dimes, four of them. One, two, three, four, ten, 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 ten. I'm going to move my paper up so it's easier for me to write. Can we still see that? Oh, that's maybe too high. Okay. What's next? Oh, he had nickels, three of them. One, two, three. That's five, five, five cents, five cents, five cents, and five pennies. One, two, three, four, five. One, 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 one. Okay. How much did Ross use? That's what we have to figure out. We're using the information that we know. This is what we have to find. So we know three quarters, 75 cents. Okay, 75. We have dimes that are each worth 10. So we'll count by tens. We have nickels that are worth five. So when we get here, we're gonna start counting by fives. And then our pennies, so we don't forget that when we get to our pennies, we're gonna count just by one, so I'll put my line there to help me remember. Okay, let's do it. 25, 50, 75, 85, 95. Here we go again with this 95, and then we're adding 10 to it. Remember, there's two touch points in these dimes. So if you're at 95, and you need help remembering that this is going to be a dollar five then when you add 10 to 95 you get 105 so in this case we're counting about we're talking about money and cents so it's 95 cents so it's going to be one dollar and five cents if you need to use your touch points say 95 a dollar a dollar five a dollar ten, a dollar fifteen. Now we're gonna go and count by five. So a dollar fifteen, a dollar twenty, a dollar twenty-five, a dollar thirty. Now ones. So a dollar thirty-one, a dollar thirty-two, a dollar thirty-three, a dollar thirty-four, a dollar thirty-five. How much money did Ross use to buy the card? One dollar and 35 cents. Okay, does everyone see that? Go ahead, take your time drawing out the coins, labeling the coins, and counting them up carefully. It's so easy, it's so much easier if you start with your largest amounts first and go to the least, okay? All right, boys and girls, that is it for lesson 7.7 .7 today. Your homework will be page 507 and 508, okay? So go ahead and try those. It's word problems. I know you can do it. Look at these papers that we did. Go back and watch this video, pause it, rewind it, whatever you need to do. I will post the answers for the homework for 7.7. .7. All right, boys and girls, I'll see you later.